Hello, everyone, and welcome to the episode 16 live stream. My name is Meps, and this is Spittle. What are you? Hi. Let's yeah. Let's be professional today. All right. I'm the community manager for DC Universe Online, and this is your senior creative director. Hello. And we are here today to tell you about episode 16. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, a lot of things happened today. Um, Do tell. Yeah. Just just before we get to the new episode and whatnot. Okay. Um, as you know, uh, the the old episode. Yes. Episode 15. Yes. Launched today. Available for everyone. For everyone today. On the marketplace. On the marketplace today. 400 marketplace cash, $4 for this monthly episode. Correct. That's also the price for the next monthly episode, episode mm -hmm. 16, which we're going to talk about in just mm -hmm. a minute. And it includes um, the Bombshells Paradox, which is our bombshell event. Yes. And the digital comic is doing so well, and people love it. And I actually talked to DC the other day. T and the bombshell creators, the ones who are doing the actual book and the comic, love the episode that we have in DC Wo Good for their bombshells. Good. So they're super excited about it too. So get that and check it out. And then also, the Black uh, Lanterns making their debut here as we continue the War of the Light storyline in Corrupted Xamaron, all on sale today. Yes, indeed. And normally we would be waiting another two months or so before three, you would ever hear. Two, maybe yeah. Two ish, two and a half. Yeah, about so today is, is basically two months in the future. Right, so it's not basically, really, because basically we're, on time month, travel. we're monthly now. Yeah. We're monthly. So anyway, that was our first monthly uh, content release. Yes. And now we have our second monthly content release yes. in episode 16, Yes. Uh, which, as everybody knows, has a solo mission and an alert. And for the first time ever, an elite alert. Yes. That's true. All right, I'm going to turn Jesse's mic on before we uh, okay. go any further. Do so at your peril. Let's see if Maps can manage it. Mm. Should I act like I'm on a delay still? Ooh, there you no. go. We can kind of hear you. Oh, we're all getting picked up on it. Talk. Talk. Good. That's good <laughs> enough. I can't hear you guys. Keep talking. You can you can't, hear you us. Can hear us. He's on our delay. Use I your ear holes. You. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Uh, Locke, as everybody knows, is our design director. Hello. Uh, he's, he's the nuts and bolts. Are we just gonna stare oh, at that screen sure. all day? No, or let's, are we gonna show let's go back. Let's go back. There let's talk. Go. Let's. He's here now. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, <laughs> and he's. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually tell this. Oh my God! You're way the hell over there. <laughs> yeah, you're so small. <laughs> he's <laughs> tall. <laughs> um. So anyway, shall we? Shall we move on? Shall we get to the the new episode, it's gentlemen? Your show, dude. Yeah. Okay. Let's I'll do this. Start taking stuff. control, or this is going off the rails. All right, well, we're going to talk about the solo mission first, ladies and gentlemen, and you may have guessed this, but Oa Under Siege. What? what surprise. Who's Look at that, dude. Who's well, that guy? That's Black Lantern that? Hal Jordan. Yeah, so as you know, in the War of the Light storyline, um, the entities are now becoming a gateway um, for the Black Lanterns to come in because they died and they have been reborn. And all the power batteries are now infested and infected. And so Ion is infected now. We just, in, in uh, episode 15, Corrupted Xamaron, we help um, Star Sapphire with Predator. Predator. Yep. And uh, a couple of Black Lanterns show up, Hawk Girl, mm -hmm. one of them, right? And in this one, Hal Jordan gets the whammo, the whammy. <laughs> The Zappo. Is that the, the official name? Yeah. Look it up. Uh, and becomes a Black Lantern. Um, and this is a cool episode because it, it's sort of it's it's an operation, right? So you'll start out on Oa. You'll be fighting Black Lanterns with the Green Lanterns, and then it just becomes too much. So you have to go back to Metropolis Battle Zone, and there are Black Lanterns on Earth. <gasps> that's that's trouble. It's not good. No. So we need the help of the Indigo Tribe, and we are introducing for the first time ever. Love, New characters. Rolls. A new character, Monk. It's going to be cool. Yeah. From the Indigo Tribe. Knock. <laughs> and he's going to help you go back to uh, Zammer or to Oa, and uh, you'll be fighting a Black Lantern, Hal Jordan, which is going to be really cool. And hopefully save Ion and Hal, because we, we don't need a Black Lantern Hal. That, that fish would, is almost... That would be bad. The fish is, is like all... Uh, oh, is he turned over? Wouldn't that be awesome kinda, if he was sort of like up on his... He was like belly up. He kind of is. He's, he's, <laughs> like he's Ion is like, thing. He's like belly yeah, up in no, the freaking no, no. power battery. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So here's some pictures. You can see Monk right here. 
getting his uh, on Oa, of on, course, on so. Oa. Yes, yeah, relaxing so you while you do all the work. Black yeah. Lanterns, um, <laughs> right there. Um, so players will be joining, joining him, trying to fight the Black Lanterns on Oa. It's pretty cool, and on Metropolis Battle Zone <coughs> as well. Yeah. yeah, and you mentioned this, but I just want to call attention to it. This is a a long solo mission, right, where you go yes. back and forth from different locations. Yes, it's uh, very similar to DLC 13's uh, or episode 13's. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Solo. Cool. So, so that's the um, slow mission. Both we're gonna talk. It's die hard. It is. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're, we'll we'll talk rewards and how that works when we get to the end here. Um, but let's move on to the next piece of content. Okay. Um, do you want to? It doesn't sound as good on my Do you want to drum roll this or no? <laughs> There's no one new in it though. Yeah. But it's badass. It's the desecrated cathedral. We're going back to Gotham Wastelands, going into the cathedral. Brother Blood, who I think you can see in that screenshot. You can. There. He's yes. hanging out in the back. As, as Locke Doing describes, who knows what. describes it, he's pervily wringing his hands Total as he perv, watches the Ravens out. fight. Yes. Oh, it's, yes, Raven. No. It's, Dark and light. Gosh. Oh, it's the whole bird there. Yes. The whole bird. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> dark meat, white meat. Raven. Yeah. yeah. Raven's a bird. Mm-hmm. And, and I got it. Turkey. Worked on so many yeah, levels. I know, right? Bam! <laughs> Follow that. Man. That is awful on so <laughs> many got, levels. You yes, nothing. thank you. Thank you for doing that. So, okay, so what is the plot here? Obviously, right. we've got well, Raven. Well, I don't want to spoil yeah. too much. Set it up, though. Set okay, it up for well, us. I, I'm t- I will. God, Come on, set it up, up. Spittle. Wrong All right, here. so wait, this wait, is wait, actually, wait, uh, wait. as you know, we're going to be doing a bunch of different storylines going forward so now we've sort of tipped our hand as to what the third one is in this cycle so we have we're doing a bunch of episodes that will include war of the light content we're doing a bunch of episodes gather around come closer i don't okay. I, I uh, so uh, we'll right be now. doing uh um how did you hurt yourself know, doing that it's a really <laughs> heavy chair oh developer physique let me oh, pull my oh my arms are like this and i have to do that this is too much um anyway uh so we, we'll be doing we did league of assassin stuff which is actually a bombshell tie-in that's really part of the league of assassins uh episodes we'll be doing more okay on that so that's later. one storyline we're working on correct and now we've sort of shown you the other one which is going to be trigon related and we have a bunch of instances that are going to be focusing on trigon uh which should be a lot of fun and all that begins in the desecrated all that begins cathedral. right now in the right. desecrated <laughs> cathedral where brother blood is trying to grab even more power and he is um, uh, using Raven and the Sons of Trigon. Again, I don't want to spoil so too much. So hard to dance around that, I know. But uh, it's cool. It's, it's going to cool. be fun. And it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, level. We love it so much. Yeah, and, the cathedral from you know, Sons of Trigon. Exactly. Um, so I, you know what I love? Can you put the, can you put the art back up yeah. again just for both of them? So you have Desecrated uh, Cathedral here, and then we also have the OA one. You know, uh, a lot – it's so awesome. I personally love going back to these places. And because, yeah, I mean, how many times when you read a Batman comic do you go to the Batcave? Like, quite frequently. Quite frequently. As well as right. just to Gotham City so itself. The great part about what we're doing with all this stuff is that we're just telling new stories in these great locations, you know? So we're just continuing to sort of. Um, you know, revisit these iconic places that we're creating within the game. And that's what I love about Desecrated Cathedral, too. Um, you know, we're really kind of taking those storylines to a new level and a new chapter. So it's very cool. Um, I, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you, sir, Mr. Locke, oh, are super me. proud of this, oh, yeah. uh, of this, too, right? I think like, it's an awesome, fun time. We, uh, we definitely want to, to uh, we encourage you to bring roles. Yeah, um, better bring your rolls, Dario. It'll make it get it going, Dario. Make it wow, call it out five one one one. Don't do it, cause you can't. It's an alert. It's an alert. Yeah. So <laughs> four one. What's well, gonna Don't be the new three one. three four? four. One. Just no. The will be four. Two one one. one, one whatever one, one, it is. One, one. Yeah. Better yeah. bring your rolls. Uh, but so there's some cool mechanics in there. Yeah. So and, I mean, let's talk more about the elite sure, that's what version. How's that work? Yeah, so um, once you, just like the raids, once you beat the um, normal version, you'll have a checkpoint unlocked, which will get you into the elite version. And the elite version is a lot harder, has some new mechanics in it, additional mechanics in it as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, and you will be able to get the new elite gear, which has something we'll talk about in a second called um, item affinity, elite affinity, right? So we'll talk about that in a second. But why don't you describe how the, do you want to describe how the checkpoints work and unlocking and all that? Yeah, because we've do done this later? for raids, right. right? 
we're, which are on a weekly lockout. Exactly. Things, obviously, alerts are different. So how do we how do we do this differently, lock? Hmm. What we did was a, it's still a progress point lockout. Um, that lo that still resets every 14 days is currently the plan. And but the elite alert is going to have its own lockout treasure lockout. So you won't be locked out of the elite when you're when you finish the alert. And but it's going to be a weekly one. So yeah. Okay. So you can go right into it right after you finish the regular you one. You can finish the regular one and go right into. But the it's one. not a daily reset. But it's not a daily reset because it's got the elite affinity. Right. The elite one is the regular one is still daily. Regular, the regular one is still, still daily. daily. Very clear about. So you'll constantly constantly be refreshing your checkpoint if you're doing that one exactly. daily for yeah. your marks. You'll be able to just do elite once a week, um, and it is going to be a lot harder. There are some great mechanics in this. Um, so yeah. it, it should be really fun. It's okay. Like so the usual stuff, the scaling, it gets harder as you go. You only have one rally per boss, but then we actually add mechanics to the bosses. Exactly. As well, and the way. plan, we didn't get to do it with episode 15, but the plan is we're going to have an elite every time now, right? No. Oh, we're not? No. I thought we were. That was a That's lie. The a first lie. one? Uh, what, what's going to happen? Oh, is the, the your, first your mic went. Your mic. What'd you do? It must have died. The battery. The battery's low. Well, I, I think our mics are good enough to get All right. if you speak loudly. Oh, they're talking to him. <laughs> yeah, no, you're really, really close to his face. No, so, so we're going to have two elites every three months. This first time around, these first three months, we actually had the, the um, we're having the elite on month two and month three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next time around, we'll have the elite on month one and month mm -hmm, two. Mm -hmm, this is awkward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Um, mm -hmm. Jesse, if you want to leave, that's fine. <laughs> no, don't go. <laughs> Um, this one died. Oh, that, oh, that one died. Mm -hmm. oh, well. All right. Well, I'll good to know. Give me some batteries, Meps. <laughs> I don't have batteries. Give them in my to pockets. Me. Why not? Um, okay. Jesse, we'll go get some. Bugs. Okay. While Jesse's doing that, we're gonna talk more about. Um, well, actually, I want to show one more screen from the cathedral. Uh, so obviously, this is the, the the key art we have, the desecrated cathedral. Raven on Raven, Brother Blood in the background. Who? Also be facing <laughs> the sons of Trigon. What? Nothing. It's all good. <laughs> Keep also going. be facing the sons of Trigon uh, in this alert. Um, but OK, so it has an elite version. It's punishing. It's, it's very difficult. Um, but it also is much more rewarding, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it is. Um, Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. I was looking at the chat. I was reading okay. the chat. Okay, great. Um, so, obviously, uh, the whole the whole episode has feats. Um, and in in the... Uh, well, see, this is the part we need lock for. So, um, let's just... Why? Let's just be what us. is it? Well, because we're going to talk numbers. Okay. That's fine. We I can just we well, can let's just go introduce the, the elite affinity gear first. Then we okay. Can go back sure. To let's that. let's look at it. Okay. So we're gonna hop in game here. All right. And we're gonna turn the sound on. Woo hoo! And uh, right now you're wearing the other set of gear from episode 15 through right. 17. The, right. This is the full set that you'll pick up. You'll be able to get the full set now. Yes. With with 16, you can actually get all visible pieces for this set. Correct. Not the non visible pieces. Hit the armory, all the armory now? Yeah, so hit uh, Envisioned first. Oh, Envisioned. Oh. I don't know. We should have practiced this. Um, okay. Tell me. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look, everybody. Don't look at it. Don't look. <laughs> don't look. Meps doesn't want you to see. Well, so, okay, There's so envision. it's a version of this style, right? This is the style you're getting now already, and you'll, right. and you'll get additional uh, pieces of this as well. Yes, you'll get additional pieces of this, and so you'll be able to actually get this full visible set with episode 16's release. Correct. On the vendor, or as rare drops in the regular alert. Right. And then we also have. Can I do it now? Yeah, now you can do it. Now there's this other version. I, we've got basically the same color there, uh, but you can see there's. What is wrong with your movement mode? Do you not have skills? Jesus. Can't do I have a zipline? All right. So you can see now it has a uh, really cool kind of swirling power. And new energy effects, over right? top of it. So new effects. Well, we're, what we're really our plan is here is we're going to offer two um, distinct styles, right? And then one of those is going to have sort of an elite version. The rare style will have an elite version that will allow you to that will you know have some extra kind of bling to it, for yeah. lack of a better word. And 
to to answer the questions in chat, yes, you can change this color just like you could change the color on the on the uh, other version of this. Let me do that screen. now, since I'm doing. Yeah, let's do some other I I pick green because you know green's cool. Uh -huh. um, we working now? Yes, yeah. yes, we are. Yeah, I'm back. Yes, locks back. <clears throat> you can begin the show again. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Kind of see and. It, it looks a lot different when you make it darker versus lighter. You know, it's kind of more pronounced uh, movement of energy if it's if it's super bright, um, and it's more muted What's if it's not. You heard? Yeah, let us know. Let us know, guys. Let's see what they say. Emblems. And then we'll catch up. So it just dropped. It just dropped. I don't think they heard about the uh, appearance and where you get it. Um, skill points, somebody said. Okay, yeah. So there's no skill points associated with this, but. There is, we are going to put a zero point feat on it that right. will grant you a title. So you will have additional vanity stuff, not only the pieces, but an actual title itself for kind of showing up. And as you know, collect all these. titles are coming in Game of Tape 51, which is next. Very soon. Yes. Yay. So, yay. Cool stuff. Okay. Right. Um, now let's talk about Elite Affinity. Okay. Yeah. So, so this gear is not just better stats, not just, you know, standard better. It's right. got it's got elite affinity on it, and, which is like a set bonus, but cooler. Take it away, Spittle. Right. Okay. So, um, <laughs> um, is this actually the elite affinity gear you? Yes. Have on? So you yeah. can actually okay, warp good. my base good. right now if you want to show us how it okay, actually so looks. Okay. So it says works. elite on the gear, right? And then we have these mods that you can see right here. All right. So <clears throat> let's actually go to your base. Let's go to Mavs and see his really crappy base. Warp to base one. It's so inventive. It even has this, this most creative name I've ever heard. Base one. That's What's your other name. one called? Aww. Is it base two? I don't think I have another one. Really? Yeah. Well, if you I do, you should stick with the theme. You think go so? Base should, I, two. should I like Roman Maybe numeral just like kind of go up the numbers <laughs> no. a little bit, like until you get to maximum. That way you can have base one through four. It's super easy to keep track of. Should I go right to four? Or Jeez. should I skip some numbers? Genius. <sighs> Isn't it? It's genius. I mean, the, the, the I wish I boundless that. creativity. Unbelievable. Please don't look at my base names. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and look, I mean, it is just tricked out in here with yeah, everything with you could uh, ever lots want. Lots of armories. You know, if if I if I were placing items, I could place up to 500 on all servers I'm right now. Saying, Ooh, nice know, plug. I like I'm that. just saying maybe because, you know, we use this for demo purposes, you should maybe you know, put a chair in, in it or something. Yeah. You You're right. Ah, I'll make a note of that for like next time. All right. So here's your malfunctioning so generator, which is clearly ready to blow <laughs> at any <laughs> second here. Put more in it. Yeah. All right. So you can go over here to your mods, and you'll notice that now we have this affinity thing down here. So this elite affinity gear is basically it kind of is like set bonuses that you would see in a lot of other games where you get one piece and it does this thing. You get an additional piece and it does a little more. You get three pieces in the set, it does more. And you can get, you know, the maximum pieces and it sort of unlocks this huge potential. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure we did a little something different. Yeah, because there's something that sucks about that in other games. There is. Once you find a new piece of set that you upgrade to, you start losing all your set bonuses as you are upgrading your pieces, and it becomes this real stressful point of a trade-off. Yeah. So what we do is all of the gear that you have here is Elite Affinity, okay? And it's item level 120. So when we start releasing new... Should be higher than that. Okay, well, whatever level... No, that's not right. Whatever that's level, right. Mep screwed up what, he's have, what he has on. Anyway, so if you have if you have the, a certain item level of gear, when we put out the next Elite Affinity gear, it has higher uh, item level, it has better stats and all that kind of stuff, and you put it on and replace something else with it, you're not losing progress on your Elite Affinity. Why is that? Well, it's not a set bonus, okay? It has to do with your generator and just having Elite gear on. Any okay? eight pieces, not all from one Any set. Any eight pieces... All, yes, it doesn't matter what item level they are or anything like that. If you Actually, have two, it gets you something. If you have four, it right. gets you the next level. So here are the things you can do uh, with your affinities. Okay, so if I go into my generator right here and I um, go into the mods and I go down and I say, hey, affinity slot can be except to type A affinity generator mod. So I go in here and here are all the type A affinity generator mods that I have. And you can see once installed in your generator and while wearing two pieces of elite gear, gain plus 145 health. Installation also contributes 8 prestige toward weekly base walk-in. 
Uh, here's one that gains 61 might. Here's one that gains 95 power. Here's one that gains 62 precision. Let's put the precision in. Kind of all your standard run-of-the-mill things yeah. you'd want to have stat-wise. Exactly. Here's type B you want. affinity. And you can actually install this, and you'll get 61 vit or 162 restoration. And Obviously. So contributes 8 prestige. So you can start stacking what you want. So Better with stats, right? set bonuses, like in other games, you're sort of beholden to what the set bonus is. In our game, all you have to do is collect elite affinity pieces and have two, four, six, or eight of them to unlock its maximum potential. And you get to choose what the bonuses are yeah. that you're going to get out of yeah. there as it progresses. So it's customizable as you go up. Yeah. And so it's with episode uh, 16, how many set pieces can you get? Four. Which means you can only get up to b the B type mod, right. or type B mod. So all right. in all, it gives you it, it, it nets you about one and a half mods more worth of stats. Right. And then when episode um, sixteen or sorry seventeen comes out, you'll be able to get the rest of the elite right. affinity gear in the new raid that we're putting out that has an elite raid in it, and then you'll be able to go all the way yep. up from eight. And from then on, as long as you get a new piece, you can just replace the last one you had, and you're maintaining your eight. Yep. And let me just are the C and D mods stats? New. No. Good. We'll leave it at that. Learn learn more about that later. Next time. Tune in next stream for 17. I don't have any. I don't have any to yeah. give. I was very careful actually. Why? <laughs> make sure no I didn't spoilers. Make this happen. <laughs> Hate you. All right. So, this goes so so that's yeah. Elite Affinity. Yeah, and it's it's cool. It's very cool. Okay. It should be fun. And now that Jesse's back, let's go over the gear and uh, just kind of explain how CR secret, works. I'll, go, I'll try to work out. Okay, I think I have it here. Okay, good. On my sheet sheet. Yay. Your sheet sheet? My, What's a sheet my sheet? sheet? My, my All sheet right, sheet. so you want to go over the gear? Yeah, so uh, in 15, the vendor gear was 118, and right. the rare drop gear was 120. Right. What happens in 16? We go up three levels across the board. So your new vendor gear will be 121. Your new rare loot for the, uh, for the alert and the elite alert will be 123. The 116 gear that was a part of the duo rares is now going to be a 119. From the solo? From the solo, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so basically every piece adds three. In yeah. 15, we got a certain four pieces, um, which now I don't yeah. have in front That's of me. Okay, I had them in my cheat sheet, but I don't have it now. It's like back, chest, and two others. Yeah. <laughs> in 16, you get, what do you get? You get weapon, head, hands, feet. Okay, so this is the weapon episode. This is episode. the weapon episode, yep. All right, uh, so those will be on the vendor uh, yep. to pick up as for marks of victory, as well as drops in the uh, regular alert. Right. And what do you get in the elite alert? You get the same thing. Okay. You get just the 120. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you don't. You get the, you get the, I forgot. This is a different, you get the same four that we gave out last month as the, as the, um, the rares, those pieces become the affinity drops. Okay. In the elite. That makes so sense. once you've progressed all the way through 16, you're going to have a full set of gear from this episode cycle, but some right. of it, if, if you're, if you're playing the elite, I should say, right. um, some of it will be elite, some of it won't. Okay, and then we're gonna okay. change that all up when we get to the next three months. So, it's much better than it's yeah. It gets way opinion. simpler and way uh, it makes it better. Better. So, um, and if there are any questions, throw those in the chat. We'll try to um, answer them. Vendor costs the same amount as previous episodes. Yes. yes. Same same pattern, all that stuff. Yeah, weapons are always the same. With every weapon cost the, the the head will cost as much as we always charge for head. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, I think that's that's all we had. Uh, we're gonna stick around and answer some questions. Okay. People seem confused about the elite affinity. Okay. But I don't know how to explain it any simpler. Do you want to try again? Just well, second time. It's they like about there are part. you can get four pieces of elite affinity gear out of the elite alert in this episode. Next episode we release, which is um, episode seventeen, you'll be able to get the other four pieces of that set, totaling eight. At increments of two, four, six, and eight, you will find mods in your generator. If you have an equal number or greater of elite affinity gear, you will get, if you have four pieces, you'll get the two and the four bonus. If you have six pieces, you'll get the two, four, six bonus as long as you have a mod in there. The idea is here you wanna collect elite affinity gear and as you upgrade it, you're not gonna lose progress, but you're just gonna wanna keep your mods upgraded as well. Um, but you can customize your elite affinities however you want. That's. I don't know how to explain it any simpler than that. That's pretty straightforward. So hopefully that. I think the only not confusing, confusing part is the way we have loot right now, which is we're dropping in the elite alert the same four pieces that dropped in the raid last month. Four 
not the same four pieces, but the same slots. Does that make sense? Right. That's, that's a little confusing this time around. Okay. But we're cleaning that up. I'm already thinking six months ahead, so that's why I got it screwed up a minute ago. So you're the problem. I'm the problem. Okay, all right, all right. It's not me. I think I'm it's me. Good. I'm guessing it's me. Where do you get the mods from? There's a vendor. There's oh, a vendor. The vendor okay. a, what kind of, of currency does that vendor accept, sir? Marks of Triumph. No. <laughs> oh, why? I mean, I don't know. Why? Marks of Victory. Marks of Victory. Get out. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh all everything's marks of victory. So you I can pick up everybody. the mod you want, take the mod you want, put it in your generator, and then if you're wearing the appropriate gear, you'll get that bonus. If you take right. that gear off, you won't get that bonus. And we'll, we'll, if you want, we'll put a post up that explains how the loot drops and how the affinity stuff works to so make it a little clearer so you don't have yeah. to watch this video and maybe rewind it, rewind it, and watch it. Rewind maybe it. when the content hits the PC test server. Maybe. Soon. Look, look for it. Look for some more messaging there when you can jump in and, and use it. Can we cut his mic off now? <laughs> No, well, my mic. He's being yes. good. What did I do wrong? Uh, oh my god! So, <laughs> just to recap, episode sixteen, Oa under siege, solo mission, desecrated cathedral. Actually, we'll actually we'll actually do this. Oa under siege, desecrated cathedral, which is an alert and an elite alert. New elite style coming from the elite alert plus yes. new gear plus the elite affinity system. Yes. All for four hundred marketplace cash or four dollars if you're on pc right for this episode and of course members have access automatically to all content everywhere in the game mm -hmm. um and uh just in case you you know hadn't noticed episode 15 came out today on sale it's the first piece of monthly content and member it was up for member early access another good reason to be a member if you want to enjoy content a little early yep and episode 16 so the next piece of monthly coming out, mm -hmm. monthly content coming out soon. Mm -hmm. So I love these new like yeah, comic book fun, right? Style. Isn't that awesome? Like, it's so much yeah. better it's instead of once every three months. Yeah, you it's get a piece, of, piece of art. It's fun. It's reinvigorated my soul. Yes. So um, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed that, please crush that I follow button or uh, hit subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and think about your life because you didn't catch the live stream. You know, just just I'm throwing it out there. Um, and and we'll be back with another live stream, a Let's Play, in the coming weeks, as well as this content hitting PC tests and what? <laughs> and uh, you think about your life, sir. Uh, on, on behalf you watching, <laughs> madam. <laughs> on behalf of Locke, and on behalf of Spittle, and on behalf of myself, Maps, and everyone here at DCRS Online, uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.